Green and clean, clean and green. Green and clean, clean and green. I don't know what on earth that means. That green I am is up to trouble, it seems. Supercritical carbon dioxide, did you hear? The biggest impact on your process this year. No longer just a lab curiosity, but now it's a real possibility. I'm sure you will try it. You will try it for me. A clean supercritical fluid is what I'm talking about. SCF rocks! From the rooftops, I could shout. SCF rocks? Excuse me, what did you say? Carbon dioxide? I really don't need more of that today. And supercritical fluids? I've never heard of that gunk. Clearly, you're giving me a load of bunk. Not bunk. Not at all. It's the fourth state of matter. I'm telling the truth, not giving you chatter. They're clean, and they're green, and they're changing the world! Where you'd never expect, with more uses unfurl. A fourth state of matter? That's a whole bunch of hooey. Something inside of your head's gone kablooey. Clearly you've imagined all of this sciency stuff. Now please, Green I Am, I've had quite enough. I'm happy with the way I do business today. I'm not going to use them. No how, no way. Supercritical fluids aren't liquids or gases or solids, but something not yet taught in science classes. They're permeable, soluble, and really quite cool. And if I have my way, they will be taught in the school. Just listen. Hear me out. They will change how you work. No solvents, earth-friendly, and won't mess up the dirt. This magic, these supercritical fluids of which you speak, I just can't believe they can accomplish this feat. Why haven't I heard more of this technology before? If they're so great, why aren't they used by businesses galore? Oh, they're still catching on. We're always discovering new uses. And uh, you should clue in to cover your cabooses. Hear me out. Take a listen. Don't turn an ear that's deaf. You can use them. Supercritical fluids, SCF. I doubt it, and even if what you say is true, I'm sure I can't use them, nor can my crew. Not just for decaf coffee, but there's so much more. Uses upon uses upon uses galore. Do you have aerogels to dry? You should give supercritical CO2 a try. Coatings? Coatings, is that what you do? Do your coatings with supercritical CO2. How about medical implants? Is that the biz you're in? Use SCF to clean what goes under your skin. Will you try SCF for electronic device cleaning? Green chemistry really has a meaning. No solvents, no residue, and no hazardous waste. Hey, all this with no funky aftertaste. I like my coffee with a little zing. Clearly, SCF is just not my thing. I like to dry my aerogels with air. SCF? I just don't care. And my coatings, my implants, my electronic devices are just fine. You use your process and I'll use mine. Cleaning, cleaning, that's what you suggest? SCF? Surely you jest. I like my solvents and my residue too. I will not try supercritical fluids for you. You will not try SCF for flavors? You will not try them as a favor? No, not for flavors or mim or textile dyeing. Do you hear me, Green I Am? I'm not lying. Not aerogels or coatings or even for foods. I will not try SCF for you. How about particles or the old nanotech? Surely you'll try them for those, I would bet. Not for particles, impregnations, or nanotechnology. These supercritical fluids are not for me. Not for aerogels, coatings, or flavors, or oils. Trying to convince me is a waste of your toils. I will not try SCF here or there. I will not use it anywhere. Hey, in the classroom? In the classroom with students? I'm sure you have kids in the class who would do this. Not in the classroom, not in the lab, not in the office. SCF is a fad. A fad, you say? You think it's a fad? I wish you would try them. They're really not bad. Try them, try them. Soon you will see. SCF is good for you and for me. Use SCF on your foods organic. They don't have any residue to cause a panic. Extract grapeseed oil, canola oil, and even make bread. 
exchange those other processes for SCF instead. You could use them to restore artifacts, make that old stuff like new. There's just about no end to what supercritical CO2 can do. Metal injection molding, or some call it PIM. Please, won't you try them? Go out on a limb. Not aerogels or cleaning, not MIM or PIM or MEM. I won't use SCF for any of them. And artifact restoration, excuse me, but what? I think it's time for your mouth to just shut. You can't convince me to extract flavors or oils. I won't even use them to test contaminated soils. Supercritical fluids for particles, and for this and for that. Next you'll tell me I can make tasty nuts without fat. And students, you expect me to use them with them? What about safety, cost, ease of use? No, 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 and amen. I just don't believe it. I don't buy what you're selling. No, Green I am. No, I don't care what you're telling. I think if you tried them, you might change your mind. I think supercritical fluids are one of a kind. Safe, affordable, and easy to do. Please consider trying supercritical CO2. Okay, Green I am, you're making me insane. Clearly you have SCF on the brain. If I agree to try them, will you get on the next train? Say, I can dry my aerogels. There's no surface tension. And the other benefits are too numerous to mention. It's easy. It's clean. I think I'm falling in love. I can use them for cleaning. We'll pass the white glove. We can use them for coatings and particles, too. Is there no end to what SCF can do? It's safe in the classroom, and it won't break the bank. It's simple. It's fast. Accessibles like french fries and franks. I can dye, impregnate, extract, and debind. Hey, Green I Am, SCF is blowing my mind. I can use them for anything. So many uses under the sun. I can't wait to tell everyone SCF is the one.